in my book Paint by Number Quilts, um, one of the main tools or notions that you need is the glue pen that I mentioned, which is it's actually the Soline glue pen um, that I recommend, but there are other ones out there. There's one made by Bohin, there's one made by Fonz and Porter, and there's probably others that I don't know of too. Um, so when you buy one of these, and I think these are all, it's the same for all makes, you get a glue pen and then there's also a refill in here as well. So each one, because the pen's already loaded, each pen comes with two refills. So as you can see, that's kind of what it looks like. So to use one of these, it's very soft glue. You only need to put a little bit on, but you will see the colour when you put it on the fabric, but you can glue straight away rather than with some of the other glues where you have to heat set them or you have to wait a little bit longer and clip them to dry this is ready to go as soon as you um, have it out of the pen and the refills do come in different colours I've seen blue, yellow and pink um, it's just so that it shows up on the fabric and once it's dry it dries clear whatever colour you buy so for example if you have black fabric the yellow one would show up more neon then it might be harder to see the blue so that's what you get in the pack um, once you've run out of glue, you can get these refills. So I have brought, bought both a Fonz and Porter and a Soline one, and that's just so that you can see how identical they are. Um, let's open these packets up. So you get two in a pack. These ones were $7.99 in Canadian dollars. I have seen them cheaper, so shop around. Um, sometimes the stores in my local area run out and I have to resort to buying them online. So as you can see these are the little refills and they're identical apart from the ends, the coloured ends and that's just the manufacturers, that's just so you know which make you've got. This is an old Soline pen, they used to have just a solid pink barrel and now they've got like this butterfly design um, but as you can see this is empty now. So to refill what you would do is take the cap off the end the coloured cap and you end up with a little bit of a lip sticking out you're going to put that lip over that um, the plastic bit that sticks out on the glue pen turn it right side up and it's kind of attached not like super well but just make sure it is kind of locked in place and then you just twist the barrel of the pen you just keep twisting 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 until it doesn't twist anymore that comes off so that's just garbage now and that refill is now in your pen so when you as you use it you will just kind of keep moving the uh, the glue upwards so once you've used all this glue that little end will show and that was the bit that connected with the um, the barrel inside the pen to begin with and that's that just pops off you can throw that away once it's empty and I'm just going to wind that right back down in the pen so I find for one of my larger quilts, I go through about four of these refills. Um, you, if, you're using, if you're making one of the smaller projects from the book, you probably won't need as many as that. And all of the pens come with a little lid on there. They do get a little bit dirty around the outside, so you might just want to wipe off the excess with just... Um, I use scrap fabric to wipe mine. But yeah, so that's those. Um, the pens themselves are usually around... I think 15 Canadian uh, with the two refills in there and then the refills are about half of that again.